Hello and welcome to eMarking with Chrissy. Now for this session I'd like to focus on the device itself, the eMark and of course the Create. So whether you have a black or white eMark or you may have a black or white Create. You can see the Create has the beveled top. What I'm going to tell you today applies to them all. So as you can see with my eMark it has a green light on the side. So that is the last imprint I've sent to the eMark, or that green light could indicate my first stored imprint on the eMark device. I'll talk about stored imprints another time. If I turn it round, you can see on the right side of the eMark is a blue light. So that indicates that I am connected to my mobile device. And that on this occasion is my um, iOS iPad. And on the left hand side, there is a green light that indicates that I have over 26% and so that's plenty for me to be getting on with. If that turns to amber, then you need to think about charging it. If it's red, you definitely need to charge it because that means there is no charge whatsoever. So then we have on this um, right hand side here, you can see there is a port that port there is for your charger cable that comes with the device. So please only use the charging cable that you receive with the device and you'll need for the first time to charge for around three hours until you see two solid green lights on the back. And then we have the USB port. Now this USB port is used for the, um, if you're using the desktop. So if you're using the USB cable, it means that you can um, happily use your eMark uh, or your create, as well as um, sort of, you know, use your emails as well at the same time. You cannot charge your eMark using the USB cable. So the base unit. Now the base unit has a little tank on it surrounded by rubber. And this tank houses the print head. It protects it and also prevents the print head from drying out. From time to time you will notice a little puddle of ink in there, that's perfectly normal. All you need to do is just clean that with a slightly damp, preferably lint-free cloth and then wipe around the outside at the same time. Now this little puddle happens because both the eMark and the Create has its own cleaning programme. So occasionally you may hear a little whoosh or you'll see a little spurt of ink, perfectly normal. So now I'm just going to show you the app. Now very quickly, because I will focus on this a little later. Um, this is the Create app. Now you get the Create app with both the eMark and the Create device. And the Create app is the only app you get with the Create device. I use this possibly 90% of the time. You can create um, an imprint from scratch by either you're using a one, two or three line, or we have five categories of full of templates for you to either use as they are, or you can edit each and every one. And also down here, if I just click on here, accessory templates, these are all the templates for you to sort of use if you're printing labels, wristbands, and of course the ribbons. I do urge you to use these if you are using um, the wanting to print on continuously onto ribbon. So if I just go back, also you'll notice on the app at the bottom it says more templates online. Your eMark must be disconnected from the app at time of using. These are all free and I do urge you to have a look at these but I'm going to go through these with you next week as well as look at stored imprints. But let me create an imprint from scratch. So I'm going to go into the one line and there's my work imprint line. I'm going to click on A for text and then to start I have to click in that edit text box just like so. And I'm just going to pop my name on there. And then you can either click on the um, See the keyboard on the bottom right there? Or you can just click on that tick. So I have a click on that tick and there's my name. Now you'll notice it has a green box around it. This means that I can edit it. So I'm going to make it bigger by clicking on the scale on the bottom. 
and then touching that white little circle there and moving it will increase my size, increase or decrease. If you have a specific font size that you um, want, you can even click in that box and type the number in. So now I'm going to change the font. Click on font, click in the white box there, and you can see that there are many, many fonts in here. Now I've also added a few fonts. You can see the ones in the red, so the ones that I've added. And, and again, I'll go through that another time. So I'm just going to choose Courgette because that's one of my favourites. See, I'm moving it around. I'm just touching it and moving it. And I'm also going to change the colour by clicking on the colour. There are lots and lots of colour shades on here. You can also select your own colour or create your own colour if you've got a specific code. You click on here for that. So let me just go back to a colour that I like. So if I just click on the pink and then I'm going to add something. You see this plus or this add symbol here? Click on that. I'm going to add an image and I'm going to use clip art. But if I wanted to use something that I have stored in my gallery, then I'd click on this one here, photo. But let me go to clip art. I'm just going to select a flower from nature. There are lots and lots of clip arts. But you can also add your own images as well. There are lots of websites available. Do be careful of copyright, of course. Now you'll notice that the imprint went straight across to the left. This is perfectly normal. Simply pop your finger on it and move it across. Now I'm going to send it, but I do have an option of just saving it and then printing another time. So I just click on the save. But if I want to print it now as well as save it, I'd click on the e-mark icon just there. And then if you see what happens to the e-mark and listen to what happens, that beep beep means that it's received the imprint. So now I'm just going to print this out. Remember there are rollers on the bottom of the e-mark so there's no need to apply any pressure. You simply just roll it, just glide it. So left to right, right to left. You can even print on a wall and on a ceiling if you so wish. Well, thank you for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next time um, when I'll go through the stored imprints and the online imprints. Thank you.